Then we get to the par 3, 12 hole. Now that has changed because now the water runs in front of the green. In the old days, the water came kind of closer on the, on the right-hand side of the green. And, uh, and the story goes back, way, way back to, to when I was a kid again. And my father's standing in the golf shop and a caddy comes in and said, Mr. Hayes, I need to speak to you. So my dad said, what's the problem? He said, well, Mr. Hayes, he said, uh, I was caddying for Mr. Dormasa today. And uh, when we got to the 12th hole, he says to us that if we don't help him to play better golf, he doesn't give us a tip. And when we got to the 12th hole, there's Mr. Domus's ball in the river, and the river at that time had no water in it. And he said he took his one hand and he said he swung and he hit the ground, and with the other hand he scooped up the ball and threw the ball out the river. <laughs> and my dad said, you are joking. He said, I don't believe you. He said, you're kidding me. The caddy said, Mr. I'll get some other caddies to come and tell you this is the truth. This is the way Mr. Domus does it. He said he does it all the time. He said he places the ball in the rough and he said, if we don't help him, he says he won't give us a tip. What can we do about it? Well, it was reported to the committee and unfortunately the committee you know, wouldn't do anything about it because they said they needed to have much more evidence and they needed evidence from fellow players. And Mr. Domus has stayed a member for a little while longer. Unfortunately, he then left the club.